Today we're going to show you the basic operation of the uh, Texas Microcircuits MP2 pendant. Uh, when you first plug the pendant in, uh, it comes up with a slowly flashing red light in the status area. That light is saying that the pendant is disabled. Uh, it comes up disabled because we don't want to inadvertently be jogging anything or making any, any moves when you grab the pendant up off the table. Now the stop and pause buttons are always active no matter what mode the pendant's in, mainly because uh, if you need to stop something quick you need to do that soon. So anyway, to enable the pendant, you hold down the joystick button for a second and the pendant light turns green as it did here. Also the two lights at the top showing the jog speed come up in normal mode, which is the normal jogging speed you use when you push a regular arrow key in any direction without the shift or the control key in mock on the keyboard. This is, this is the same as the keyboard. So once we've done that, you'll notice that we can jog left, we can jog right, we can jog for backwards, forwards, we can also jog when we, you know, in, 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 in ZA mode, we can jog the axis up and down. Okay. This is the standard jogging in normal speed. Now normal speed, like I say, is, is when you push the arrow keys without a shift or control. By clicking down on the joystick button, we move to fast mode, which is the same as holding the shift key down and any of the arrow keys. And then this axis moves a lot faster. In fact, we can move two axes at once. In anything. By pushing one more time on the button, we go into increment mode, the left LED is on. At that time, when you jog, the axis that you move will jog in the increment that you set in mock. My increment set it at ten thousandths. In fact, if we look at the screen, zoom in on it, in the DRO right here, moving the X axis shows us moving ten thousandths at a time in increment. The increment mode is non-repeating, just like you're holding down the control key and the arrow key in mock. This is moving the Y. Same with the Z. When we move the Z in ten thousandths, same thing. Okay? Now, going back, going to the screen showing the G-code area. Let me rewind this. We can start pushing the green button starts the g-code that's my stop for a tool change but you hear it start and start the spindle and when it does the go with it I can hit pause to stop to pause or feed hold and then I can also hit stop to stop it these are the basic functions of the mp2 We'll have more of the, the extended function or advanced functions shown in another video. Thank you.